big mid-table showdown tomorrow. Liverpool versus Chelsea. Nine versus ten in the Premier League. It gets underway at 12.30 live here on TalkSport. Make sure you come and join us for it. Uh, the debate is open. It's Friday night. Why not? Let's start the weekend off in style. All three seven one seven double two double three double four. It's the sports ball weekend there. I'm Adam Catterall. Jermaine Pennant uh, is alongside me. We're having a little bit of discussion at the top four. Um, because, of course, we've got a good title race on our hands this year, but we've also got a good race for the top four. I personally think that the teams that are currently uh, encompassing those uh, top four spots, Arsenal, Manchester City, Manchester United and Newcastle United, will hold those spots come the end of the season. Um my right honourable gentleman here on my right hand side uh, believes that I'm chatting waffle. I think he referred to me as, and and um, believes that there will be other teams uh, in there, including Liverpool. I'd just like to point out Liverpool are currently uh, ninth in the Premier League, behind Manchester United. They're currently eleven points. Yes, they've got the, a game in hand. Give you that, uh, but they're eleven points uh, behind Manchester United uh, and ten points behind Newcastle, who currently hold that fourth spot. Um, Shall we go to the phone lines? See uh, see where people are at. Yeah, go for it. Are you sure? <coughs> Absolutely. Are you ready? Have you got your tin hat? Put your tin hat on. Get got ready. my tin hat. Got here, my here we go. Here chin we go. pads on the lot. Uh, Andy, welcome to the show, mate. How are you? Evening, Andy. Good evening. Good evening, Catman. Good evening, Gemma. Are you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm great, pal. Yeah, have you got have you got over your birthday, mate? I wish you had your birthday <laughs> Monday night, mate. Have you got over it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got over it now. 40, grown yeah. man. Making I'm decisions. Still I'm, I'm still celebrating being 60, but there you go, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Gemma, I've got to take you to task, man. Come on. I've got to really, really, really nail you to the floor here, mate. Come on. Right. Which Liverpool team are you talking about when you say they're going to finish top four from potentially eight points behind? Are you talking the t- Liverpool team two, three years ago, or are you talking the one that got stuffed at Brighton last, last weekend? Because, let me finish, mate. This current Liverpool side, you've identified it. You've got major problems. Van Dijk, since the injury, is not the player he was. Pre-injury, that lad was the best centre-half on the planet. No argument. That's a United fan talking, Paul. That guy was class. Since the injury, he's lost at least a yard of pace. United's home form is very, very good. Mm-hmm. United's home form has been superb. Since we got beat 6-3 at City, which we got absolutely annihilated and took to the cleaners, we've only lost one game, and that was at Villa. Yep. In 20, 21 games. We are rolling. Eric Tanag, whatever he's doing, has got this side clicking, ticking, and purring nicely. Sunday is a massive, massive ask. I don't expect us to win on Sunday at Arsenal. Honestly, I don't. I'm being honest with you guys. That's a United fan. I don't expect us to win. Would your attitude be different if Casemiro could play? No, it wouldn't, Adam. Would it to not? Be honest, because I think I, I think Arsenal are rolling. The, whatever Arteta has done at Arsenal, I can all I can do as a football fan mm. is tip my hat to that man because he has turned that side round. Yeah. Unbelievable. They are playing some of the best football I've seen in Prem for the best part of four or five years. People talk about City. People talk about Liverpool when they were flying with a fit Van Dyke and all the rest of them being fit and firing. This Arsenal side of quality, mate. This Arsenal side of good. Mm, You've got to play it. City have got to play them twice. And I'll tell you what, I don't see City getting six points out of them. I agree. I just don't see it. I agree. Well, see it. Well, my argument is he was absolutely average against City I mean, against Crystal Palace um, and Liverpool can't play any worse than they are and they will get better we, we how are do you know, know? We are now how do you know hot, that? What? how do you know they're going to get better well they, you can't get any worse for starters yeah but they could stay worse they're, well they're not going to do that how do they're you because pl- the players they've got they will not do those that those same players turned up last week and got wallop 3-0 against Brighton that, do you know what? We've all had those day, uh, days in our career. Yeah. We've all gone to teams and, you know, you know man, you got spanked against Brentford as well. So we've all we've all had those days. We've all had those matches and then games where we turn up and we're not, you know, not, not at the races. But Liverpool will get better. They will get their injuries back. They will get a full squad and they will play better. They're too good to, to not. Ads, welcome to the show, mate. How are you? You there, mate? Ads? See? Oh, he, oh he's here. Oh. He's here. Oh, you're going you're to chirp in then, <laughs> you, man. I saw you. Ads, come on, mate. All yours. 
Right, so I was going to say, um, I, I came on the other day, I don't know if you may remember, but I think he's still bitter from, you know, United beating City the other week. Uh, but I'll be honest with you, for me, I think just United for just being in the, you know, in the uh, matter of just being considered, oh, are, they, are they in a title push or whatever, that just shows how far we've come. And um, personally, as I said, for me, this season, as long as we get top four, that's the main aim for us. And if we win, you know, like the League Cup, uh, which we've got a very good chance of winning, that's a great season for us. Um, in respect to Arsenal, I think we'll get a result. I can't see us beating them, but at the same time, I can't see us getting beat either. Um, but what I will say again is I, I don't understand where he's, he's getting this false uh, insecurity from where he thinks United will drop so much and Liverpool will all of a sudden get better. What has he seen? that he thinks that they're going to improve all of a sudden, be world beaters all of a sudden? It's not what I've seen. It's what they've done over previous years. It's not the same seasons. team, though. It's not the same they've, team. They've, they've, been in, they, they, they've got so much experience in that team. Well, that's like I'd say right. that the no, 1999 team of Man got, United is going to go they, win the league this year. They've got so much experience in the team and they've been in this situation where their back's against the wall and they need to pull together. Jurgen Klopp's, you know, they would have had so many conversations. They would have had put things on the training pitch. They will get better. This is now. Now we're at the second half of the season, and they will come good. How do you know that? How do you know that? Because being an we've ex- seen this, we've seen this many times before, where teams have done well, won the league, yeah, and then the fire goes out. The hunger's not there as much. Maybe some players' legs aren't there no more, and they drop off. We've seen it countless, countless times. That's it's fine. happening again to Liverpool. And, and, and Jurgen's a manager who can change things. He, he might not change personnel, but just change well, a bit. To. Of, but, but change he has a to bit change personnel. But, but the way they play, rather than keeping three up, bring two back to make five in midfield, to make a little bit of contact and, sleep, and leave their main striker up. And then when we're attacked, we'll go as a three. So the, the, there's tactics, there's things you can do to shore that midfield. Once that midfield's a little bit sure, you can't run through like you know, you know anyone, then... It gives the defence a little bit more security. How- we will always score mm. against these. We got, we're, you know, not against um, Brighton because it just literally was non-existent. No one wanted to be there that day. But moving forward, yeah, we won't see another performance like that. Um, I, I can guarantee you, you will not see another performance like that against Brighton for the re- remainder of the season. How much credit has he got in the bank, Jurgen Klopp? Well. Winning the league has got has got a lot of credit. Yeah, yeah. That's because that, obviously that was on so the will for Man United, fans. So will Man United? Uh, sorry, Liverpool fans accept eighth, ninth this season because no. that's what you're currently ninth. Yeah, and with all due like, respect, as I look right, above, right. Fulham are in great nick right now. They're playing if, some good stuff. If the Brighton league, are playing some good stuff, and Brenton right. and, and, and neck and neck with you. If the Premier League finished in twenty games, then okay. We have now got another half of the season. Agreed. That is, so, you know. Yeah, but I'll just ask you a question. If they if they finish ninth this season, has he got enough credit in the bank for Liverpool fans to be okay with that? Yeah, I'll be okay. I said, you know what? If we don't, if we didn't, if we, you know, if you're you know, okay with that, finish you're okay with ninth. I'll go take it on the chin. Bad season. Let's regroup. Get a few. Get Jude Bellingham in. Another midfielder. If bang, if, if, then if, well, there's no if. Okay. There is if. All right, we'll, we'll get a strong midfielder. How much did you spend on your striker at the start of the season, Nunes? He's come in. He spent a lot of money 60 there. Sixty mil, rising to eighty plus. Add-ons. Right, come on then. And then we'll ninth, get... and you spending that amount of dough on a striker? That's sackable, mate. Absolutely not. Is it not for not because, for any other because, team? For because, any other team, that's sackable. Chelsea would get rid of him. No, 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 no. Uh, that that Liverpool team needed young legs. It needed it for, for the future. So what we're buying for the future and plays that can so do it in, now. You're in transition, are you? We had to. We, uh, you're our in team, transition. One hundred percent. All of our midfielders are going to go. James Milner. Why has he not seen this? He's been here seven years. Henderson. Why has he not seen it? Fabi- they're all like on towards. Why the has edge. he not seen it though? He's been here seven years, mate. He's not just come in. Because he was working. You don't, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, but you can, feel... Hang on a minute. People don't get younger. Sir Alex Ferguson used to be able to spot... Oh, hang on well, a minute. Sure in two to. years' time, he's on his way out and he'll bring somebody else in. Well, then Jürgen's got us F- FSG. We can't, I can't answer that. Obviously, if he had the money, he would want to go out and spend it. He's not going to go, oh, yeah, I've got the money. Let me put it in my bank. Let me just save it. Let me work on the interest. He would want to buy players. So, obviously, he's not getting the funds to, to strengthen that midfield. 